everyone, this is Norma. Welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick treat bag uh, for a class or a coworker or anyone if you're in a pinch and need something to create fairly quick. I'm going to be using two stamp sets. I'm going to be using the Petite Petals uh, stamp set and the Language of Love stamp set. And I'm going to create a bag similar to this one. And then I'm going to create um, another treat bag similar to this right here, which is the flower and the, and the banner. So... Let's get started. I'm ahead and already put my Hershey Kisses on here on a, a cellophane bag, which measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And so I have that ready. And then I got ahead and die cut a square, which actually measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and scored it in half. We're gonna be using the the banner here and this these hearts right here. And so I'm gonna be taking real red. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp stamp that up and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that right there okay so I've done that and so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead actually I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment down here it says happy Valentine's Day and it's from the tiny 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 wishes stamp set and so for that actually I'm gonna use black and I'm going to use a VersaFine for that. And so, whoops. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down here. Okay, perfect. And take my little treat bag here. And I'm going to go ahead and staple this. And I'm going to staple it on one of the hearts there. And then I'm going to put a heart on top of that to disguise the, the actual staple. Um, so I'm taking a stapler here and I'm going to go ahead and staple that and like so. My small heart punch here. I'm going to go ahead and punch a heart. Pop it up a, a little to give it some dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tiny um, dimensional on there and I'm going to go ahead and put it on top and that what that's going to do is just basically disguise the staple that you have on there and so then small uh, banner punch which is from the celebration which you can earn for free and I'm going to let's see do I have a designer paper around here doesn't look like it so we'll just go ahead and use this so I'm going to go ahead and punch that with my small banner punch and I'm going to add some, add, uh, actually, I'm going to use a glue dot. So I'm going to use a glue dot. And so I'm going to use a glue dot in the front and the back because I'm going to adhere that to here. Here. And so there you have a quick little treat bag that you can mass produce so quickly, spe especially if you're in a pinch to um, get some done. So that's one quick and easy one. And we're going to basically create this right here. And for that, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the petite petals and I'm going to use this image right here. And for that, I'm going to take some Whisper White and I'm going to stamp three of these uh, flowers and and then I'm gonna go ahead and punch them out. I love this set. It's actually a, a bundle that you can buy, and if you buy the bundle, you save um, fifteen percent. So it's a great deal to to get both. Oops, stuck in there. Okay, there. So here I'm just punching the rest of the flowers, and we're almost done. There we go. And here's, um, let me see if I have something to compare it with. A Hershey Kiss. Here's a Hershey Kiss. And so if you put the Hershey Kiss on top, that's how small it is. Um, it's a good size. I, I, it's a petite flower, but it's really cute. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so here I took my second topper that I'm using for my second treat bag, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my Happy Valentine's Day from the T. 
teeny tiny wishes and there I just uh, stamped and trimmed those banners and I'm placing them on my topper there along with my petite petals of flowers on top there we go with some dimensionals and we're putting our last one in here Okay, there we go. And if you want, wanted to, you can add some rhinestones in the center, some pearls, anything like that. But I think I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And um, actually, you know what? You should have stapled it ahead of time, but um, no big deal. We'll go ahead and do that. I'll try to hide it behind here. There. And see, and I was able to, I stapled it right there. But you, make sure you do that at, before you add all your um, elements up here. And so there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another, let's see how a banner looks. So here I'm taking my banner punch and I'm going to punch this banner and place it underneath the topper. There we go. There's a quick treat bag that you can mass produce easily for a class or, or co-workers and that's using the petite petals flowers stamp set along with the punch and also the language of love and here we used our banner punch which is free from the celebration catalog with every $50 purchase so there you go I hope you enjoyed it here's our cute tiny um punch uh, this is for Leslie Leslie I know you were asking how um how big this was so there we go and let me show you again it's here's a Hershey um, uh, chocolate and that's how big it is and once it's punched so I hope that helped and so if you would like to see more videos on any kind of treat uh, bag especially for Easter coming up or anything like that give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching and don't forget to visit my blog at www.pinklingcrafter.blogspot.com for all the details and products used for these projects also I will list it down in the description bar so make sure to check that out down below thank you so much for watching and have a great valentine's day take care bye bye